Having to deal with people on a daily basis, I've noticed an increase of stress, hopelessness, and depression from the chaos of the past couple of years. Student stress has skyrocketed, reports tell us. Job insecurity, uh, increasing costs, growing authoritarianism have all compounded upon each other, pressing the common person further and further into a hole of helplessness. And the rising uncertainty about the future, or if there will be one, is rapidly causing a mental health epidemic in our time. And as a pastor, I found that even followers of Jesus are not exempt from the swelling surge of uncertainty. On the one hand, there is a growing interest in what the Bible tells us about the end of time. While at the other end of the spectrum, there's an uneasy wondering if God really cares about what's going on in this world and my life. So what's the solution? Well, I'm glad you asked, <laughs> because there is one. And it has the power to transform your life. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Pastor Bert, and this is my jam. Please take the time to click the like, bell, and subscribe buttons if you'd like to keep getting my videos in your feed. Otherwise, YouTube will fill it with clips of how AI is going to take over the world. <laughs> and if you're already watching those, well, it's no wonder why you're so stressed out. <laughs> you know, there's a very pertinent account in the life of Jesus that has always given me hope when I felt overwhelmed by the chaos that can come in my life. It's found in Mark's record of Jesus' life and ministry. It says this, Jesus suggested they cross over to the other side of the lake. So with Jesus already in the boat, they left the crowd behind and set sail along with a few other boats that followed. As they sailed, a storm formed. The winds whipped up huge waves that broke over the bow, filling the boat with so much water that even the experienced sailors among them were sure they were going to sink. Jesus was back in the stern of the boat, sound asleep on a cushion. When his followers shook him awake, shouting over the storm, they asked, Master, don't you care that we're going to die? Jesus got up rebuked the wind, and commanded the waves, that's enough, be still. And immediately, the wind died down to nothing, and the waves stopped. Turning to his followers, he asked, How can you be so afraid? After all you've seen, where is your faith? When I read this account, I recognize my own lack of faith at times. How often have I cried out, Jesus, don't you care? And then he's shown me how much he really does care about me and my situation. The storm that's stressing me out is not a surprise to him, nor is he worried about it. But to alleviate my concerns, he speaks stillness to the storm and to my soul. That's enough. Be still and know that I am God, as the psalmist reminds me. And that, I found, is the reason for many of the storms I've encountered. It's to test my faith. Do I have faith or am I afraid? Am I fretting about the frightful waves or focusing on the faithful word? Am I terrified by the storm or trusting my Savior? After all I've seen, do I have faith in God and his plan and purpose for my life? If I do, then he gives me a peace that passes understanding, that guards my heart and my mind as I live for him. 
and that's what he'll do for you too. If you trust him and live for him. And if you'd like to do that today, then you can pray along with me and Jesus will rescue you and give you a new life with him full of peace and joy in your heart and mind. If that's you, just pray along with me right now. Dear God, thank you that you love me and want a relationship with me. I accept your invitation of a new life and the promise of eternal life with you. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to live, suffer, and die for me, to free me from the curse of sin. And thank you for rising again to give me a new life of purpose that will go on forever with you. I choose to trust you with my life right now so I can experience your hope, your joy, and your peace in my life and, and in any storm that I'll have to face. Thank you that you do care and you promise to help me through each and every hard time as I follow your purpose for my life. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you did pray that prayer for the first time, could you please let me know in the comment section? Uh, I do have some, uh, you can private message me as well, because I do have some resources and information I could, I'd love to give you and, and just uh, answer any questions maybe you have and just encourage you in this new life and all that Jesus can do for you and all he's already done for you. With that, I'll say, see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful week and that uh, you just live and trust in him through whatever you're going through. Bye for now.